Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Got one here. I don't remember who it's from. Double check. I think it's too old. It is too old. Um, it is Liquid Confidence. This is aged in sherry barrels for four months. This is an imperial stout. Um, very simplistic labeling. Very artsy. Green bottle. Big old fat cap on this one. MHI of 31023. Um, that might mean that mean it's good till October 3rd, 2023. I don't really know. This comes in at 12.2 alcohol by volume. I wanted the biggest beer I had, and I had two that were 12.2s, but I've actually been really looking forward to this one. So, oh yeah, let's do it. It's actually funny. This is a Mager. This one's too old. I have another Keller I want to try. They're running a theme, my friends. Oh boy. This one's on there, baby. There you go. That was on there. That was really capped. That's a good thing. That's good. You want it properly capped. Okay, cool green glass. Alright. This was $12.99. That I mean, it's expensive. I mean, I'm not going to lie. But let's see what it is. Okay. Black. Just black. Really dark. Cocoa colored head. Not a lot of the head sticking, but you can just see these alcohol lights clinging on. 12.2. Let's see what it is. I don't know how old it is. No clue. Let's find out. Yeah. You can definitely tell it was aged in cherry. It just got this tart, bright, sweet tone to it. Oh, but it's got chocolate cacao nibs, you know, that baker's chocolate, milk chocolate behind it. Char and roast. Raisins, raisins, Ooh. cherries. Alright. Right? Let's do it. Let's get into it. Cheers. Waves. Waves of flavor. Waves of body. Big, small, big, small, big, small, lingering, better, lingering flavors. Man, it, it hits you. Oh, man. Mellowing, though. It's, it is mellowing. Mellowing beer. It's very smooth. 12.2, super smooth. You get this, um, peppery boots with peppery earthy notes. It's milk chocolate. It's a bit of soft coffee in there, but just mellowing. It's just so blending. The creaminess of the mouthfeel gives it this kind of coating, coating texture that kind of soothes any kind of uh, tannic wood or or bitter hops that might be in there. Tannic, roasty notes. You know, it's kind of man blends it right down. Real smooth. You get those uh, sweet, it's one of those sweet cherries that it almost feels like. It's not a super dry cherry, a little peppery, a little sweet, a little raisins, a little bit of sweet cherry in there too. Mm. Now, a little tartness in there too, a little tart cherry. Now, but, it's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, a lot of residual, a lot of clingy flavors. Exactly what I like. Um, overall body is a medium full body. Really nice. Big clingy flavors which just makes it really super enjoyable. But it's not something that would be hard to drink. I mean this is not hard to drink. It's amazingly drinkable. Um, yeah, for this, for what it is, the specialty of what it is. I'm just going to throw it right up to a big old 10. I'm going to be it right up. You get it. It's worth it. It's worth $12.99. It's worth $12.99. Buy it. If you can get it cheaper, buy more of them. Buy two of them. You know what I mean?
by two tools. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna give it a ten. This is a really great beer, Liquid Confidence from Tool Brewing Company. Wow. Yeah, it's an imperial stout, aged in cherries for, two, for four months. I could only imagine what they would do if it was a double imperial stout or something like that. Something crazy thick. Uh, and I'd like to see one aged. This has been called Bay of Brunies. I'm going to enjoy this. I earned it today. <laughs> Cheers.